poets? Yes, I also want to talk about the previous I, yeah. I actually ran yeah. away from something. We well, appreciate it. And yes. Um, one thing I want to say that I'm very happy that we are discussing this now because we have a very simple uh, strategic plan, uh, five points. One was infrastructure, then we moved to content applications, capacity building, PPPs. Um, and I see we have moved from the infrastructure, we are into applications and content now. Uh, what I'm trying to encourage everyone is that present your problems. Like what we have done here, we should say why well, she three, four, five people come up with a white paper. Simple. I fight it. Like a pool in Treasury, I make sure that it appears in the final speed. Last year, we tried to change what uh, the QS was talking about. Let us remove this. 10 page adverts in the newspaper, put it into a website, and then one uh, 50 by 50, I mean, a very small art. We went to Tracer, actually met the presentation, they said, do, do you have uh, centers where people can be able to look in the website in the rural areas? We said that we are actually working on the digital villages. We are now ready because we practically will cover the whole country via the this Meaning, we can now reduce the budget because we are looking at efficiencies. What Paul actually told me that just last night we were talking about the next projects. Um, we want to do PPPs, which was part of our strategic objectives. The PPPs, PPPs will be like we get a local fund uh, like seven Cs to partner with the larger companies and deliver the project because that is the only way we can build local capacities, which is part of our strategic objective. objective. And I, it's not that I have seen Harry here. I actually contribute to Harry's newspaper. And the, the last one I was talking about collaborations. Uh, because innovations happen within an ecosystem. So if you want to scale it up, because most people think they will do, come up with that app which is going to go wild. It doesn't happen like that very easily because you need to have collaborations so that you get nuances from the other side and then you are able to scale up. I, I think we, we need to have debates on the processes of innovation aside from this. Government is with you. Government listens to you. Government has delivered infrastructure and delivered some of the areas that you have asked. But let us move. And I've said 200 times we move and become more scientific in our approach. We say we provided that white paper last year. What did you do with it? Uh, then I would say, well, I was sleeping or something like that. Uh, but let us become from just a parasite to a more serious uh, engagement uh, because Treasury does not look at the them and listen to what they say. Uh, when I go issues of the operators, I normally say, you sit together, give me a white paper, I'll sort it out. We have been working with them very well. Uh, now that we are at this level, and I stop here. All right. Thank you. You're hoping that? Oh, you're sitting with us. All right, thank you so much for making time and uh, being with us. We appreciate it. And for it's sharing one, time. It's one point I want to say before he leaves. Before he leaves. Yeah. Yes, I'm ready. Because it, it, it's important for us to understand some of the fundamentals. And I'm happy that Dr. Demo has mentioned what you want government to do for you. I think that's a principle fundamental because you are entitled to public participation. And the youth, once in a while, and I'm using the youth deliberately because most of the innovations will come from that cadre. If you don't reorganize your requests, then what you end up with is a page of noise making. And for the country to move to the next level, Macharia, it's not actually how many are working together. We need the Steve Jobs coming from you, where we are saying, IPO is 15 times Kenya GDP. 
So we need those type of people. I mean, for us to grow the country, we need to move to that level. The other point is, please, and I'm using this deliberately, understand the Constitution. The Constitution allows electronic data. There was a definition deliberately put in the Constitution, which now defines document to include electronic files. So the error is not in the peers. That's the point I wanted to make peers. The error is our procurement officers do not understand the Constitution. So they are blocking you from implementing. In terms of the law, and we have given the training to peers since then, we are aware of that, and I've, I've been involved in that. I've trained the state corporation CEOs. In terms of the law, the Constitution automatically amended the Procurement Act. So all the things which are already automatically amended, the Constitution is clear that it is the law which is above the others. Right. So it says on that bridge. Now the final point. The issue of monitoring this business, to me, is actually the policy discourse. And what I wanted to encourage is the peers and a few of the team through ICT board, Vision 2030, you create a small group which rethinks the monitoring, because my chair has a request. Others have requests. My friend who is uh, talking of, uh, if you don't have accounts, that's a request. These are policy questions. So you need a group to think those policy solutions. And the faster you do it, the better, because, this is the last point, right? Because the moment the governors come in place, the talk we are having will be totally different. Because the governments are national and county, and procurement will be done in those two levels. So you need to have the policy discourse discussed so that the solutions are then developed, so that you deliver the value. All right, Mr. Murimi, you've made your point, and I think 